They have done it again. This dynamic mother-daughter duo's love for police dogs has raised enough funding to equip each of the Putnam County Sheriff's Office canine vehicles with life-saving heat sensory equipment. Local mom Debbie Johnson and her daughter Emma have visited these Putnam County canines before to donate toys and supplies. Go that way. <laughs> the reason for this reunion? To see the latest state-of-the-art heat sensory equipment now inside each of the Sheriff's Office canine vehicles. Sheriff Gator DeLoach says the gift the mother and daughter bought for them is a huge upgrade for their department. We actually have the ability to transmit that data real time to our deputy cell phones now, which is of critical importance uh, because as you could imagine, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing that I can think of anything more worse than uh, having an air conditioner go out on a car. That's what happened just this past spring to St. Augustine Beach Police Department K-9 Kilo as he was resting inside his police vehicle. When the air conditioner malfunctioned and the temperature inside it started climbing, Kilo's partner, Corporal Bruce Klein, was immediately notified by an alert to his phone. <laughs> by the same life-saving heat sensor which Debbie and Emma also bought them. Through their nonprofit, Canines United, Debbie created four years ago, she and Emma have held everything from bake sales to charity runs to buy specific supplies and tools for police canine units nationwide. You know, the agencies, the canine unit will reach out to us and tell us what the need is. Putnam County Sergeant Emmett Merritt says this time, the mother-daughter duo also raised enough money to put a much-needed kennel in the back of his vehicle. Just, just for, to equip our five vehicles, it was close to $9,000. It really is incredible, the work they do. To learn more about the, what the mother-daughter team heat alarm campaign is all about and to see what their next local charity event is, just look for the link inside this story on newsforjax.com.